talk to God and I was going to be born. And he was like, hey, you want to be a man or a woman? I don't know if I would pick man. I just don't know. I would definitely pick man. Just just not the man that you described. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get you don't, you're you're don't the orphan. Get to, you don't get to pick. Five, you, three, you're gonna, no. Yo, you're you're gonna, humor. You don't get to pick. Welcome to the Real and Relatable Podcast, where no topic is off limits. We're the girlfriends that keep it real and give you different perspectives because we know one way isn't always the right way. Hi, welcome to the Real and Relatable Podcast. My name is Cash. I'm Ma. I'm LC. First off, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. And if you haven't done this yet, please do like, subscribe, and ring the bell button to keep up with all the updates and new episodes that we do have. We're going to be exploring the topics of do you think it's easier to be a woman or a man? It is battle of the sexes in a sense. First off, I wanted to ask everyone, including yourselves at home, but of course, Elsie and Ma, you as well. If you were to have somebody be your doctor, would you typically go to a man or a woman? If it's in a general doctor? Yes. Man. Uh, a man. But if it's an OB, a woman. Really? Well, because I don't want a man all, all up in that. Yeah, but a general doctor, why a man? Hmm. <laughs> this That's is gonna sound so sexist because um, we're sexist <laughs> um, okay i think because i like to receive my information very direct and to the point and i feel like men generally deliver messages that way whereas women tend to fluff the information that they are giving to me yeah. so I, I just want you to get to the point I, I don't need you to tell me everything else that okay doesn't matter huh very interesting okay See? How about an Uber driver? <laughs> okay, so I prefer a male Uber driver only because most of the time that I'm taking an Uber, it's to the airport or from the airport. And usually the male Uber drivers are the ones that put the luggages in the trunk for me. I've had female Uber drivers and they don't put it in the trunk for me. I know I can do it myself, but <laughs> just preference. So... Um, the perks, right? Yeah. Like male driver. But I think if it was like late, late at night and I was like drunk and I had the option to select a female driver, I probably would. In a vul mm -hmm. potentially vulnerable situation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. How about yeah. yourself, Uber driver? I was going to say it doesn't matter to me as long as they're safe drivers. Who's safe well, for what, men or women? But, but you don't. But generally, <laughs> we all know and it's a fact, guys, you know. Not making up that guys guys are better drivers than women. You know, they have better... Really? Speed. It's a uh, fact. I'm a better driver than my ex, and that's a fact. Well, we know that. We know you are definitely <laughs> a very good female driver. <laughs> but most women are not as good as males because we don't have the spatial skills that men has, and that's that's a fact. Okay. I mean, we don't want to we don't want to acknowledge it. I mean, I, I've never I've never seen any studies, so I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna give you the better for the doubt. Okay. <laughs> and the same thing with uh, you know math and all of that. Like that, those skills are just more um, that's stronger in men. And like seeing, so for example. Men, most of the time, they're physically stronger than women. It's kind of, it's like that. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How about a judge? Mm -hmm. Judge? You're in a situation, you're, you're in a pickle, and, you know, would you prefer a judge that's a man or a woman? Hmm. What was the crime? <laughs> 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 I feel like women are more understanding See, as a judge. So would you prefer a woman? Maybe. See, you know. But I'm at the same time, like, men, they're just, like, straight to the point. You know, oh, this was ridiculous. Don't charge her. Or, hey, ma'am, you you did this thing and it's wrong and you're in trouble. You know, they're pretty direct about it. And then I feel like women, they can be a little bit more understanding. They Motherly. See, motherly. Julia they Lesson. see the gray. <laughs> Yeah, in in things. So I think I guess, like she said, what was the crime? You know? No, I feel like you know. I think it depends, right? Because because some women in power can can also be you know they can be very uh, sympathetic to your situation, but some women in power are, are yeah. trying to 
assert authority, right? Yeah. Like, no, I, I'm going to, I'm going to show you that I'm boss, bitch. Yeah. yeah. And because really? well, uh, because they uh, might, they might be overly uh, stern to make up for that because yeah. they had to do that to get to their career, mm-hmm. to their place. Yeah. Okay. So. So they might not be as motherly and understanding as you might think. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I, don't I don't know. I, I guess I wouldn't care either yeah. way. Yeah. What if, what if you have a child and your child's going to go to jail for life or not? Would you? Well, my child is <laughs> Would you? What, what did my child commit? A bad crime where they would go to jail for life. Mm-hmm. Would you prefer a man or a woman judge? Let's say you you could pick. I, I, you know what? Like, same thing I that I pick- said about the driver. As long as they're a good, safe driver. Same thing in this case. As long as it's someone who is compassionate, understanding, and is really trying to make the best decision, you know, okay. following the law and also making the best decision and trying to understand the situation. Uh, I think, uh, but you don't. But you don't know that. Don't, so, no. it sounds like it, so. It, that's that... why I don't. I don't want to say it's like a male or female yeah. thing. You know, unless yeah. it's like factual. You know, like a yeah. man. Most of the time, men are better drivers than women. I would pick the judge that has a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it sounds. It sounds well. to me like the both of you. It sounds like the both of you don't have a preference in that. In uh, that sense. No. No. Okay. Yeah. What about um? What about a chiropractor? Male. So male, but I did date a, a guy who was going to be a chiropractor, and he actually said female chiropractors are actually better uh, oh, because he goes because they some I forgot what his reason was, but he's uh, hmm. he actually said female chiropractors are actually better than male. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. huh? Interesting, because mm-hmm. like sometimes I'm thinking they're stronger and they can crack you know oh, crack your back and yeah. things like that, but then I look at male and female masseuses and. It's, some females they're like they're gentle, but they really hit all precise. the points. They're precise. Oh, yeah, they're precise. Yeah, they're precise. They're precise. Yeah, they okay. have more precision. Yeah, like, they have more patience to find that spot. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. I don't know. But then the, sometimes they're too gentle. Okay. Okay. Well, but what about you? You didn't even answer these. I know. Oh, um, I mean, I'm asking the questions. <laughs> yeah, but what would you Uber driver? Um, a woman. Really? really? Okay. Yeah. Why? Even when you go to the airport. Don't matter, I guess. I don't care, but but no, it's okay. It's between you two. Okay. Oh uh, what about God. what about a babysitter, man or woman? A female. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Female. What about a nanny? Yeah. Isn't the same okay. thing? Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, not not really. Hairstylist. Oh. Female. I know Asian, a lot of Asian female. I know a lot of men who are really good. Can I choose at, a oh, gay man. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, okay, uh, okay. My hairstylist in New York is a male yeah. Chinese male. Some of them are really so good. good. Some guys are really good. Yeah. Both of my hairstylists are gay men, and they do an amazing job. Okay, okay. If you had to pick one person to build your car from scratch to be- from beginning to end, would you prefer a man or a woman? Man. Building a car? Yeah. That you're going to be driving? <laughs> oh, if I'm driving it, then a <laughs> man. <laughs> man, okay. Okay, Um. what about a pilot, man or a woman, that your whole family is going to be in? Oh, my God. Man. Man, Hi, guy, yeah, yeah, Hi, man. Okay, uh, what about if the team that built the bridge had to be all all male or all women, right by your mama's house, where she's gonna be crossing that bridge every single day to go to work? You know, would you prefer a team of men or women? Males. Oh, it's a team. Yeah, yeah, because one guy oh, can't males. do it by himself. Men. Oh man. Okay, so based on what I'm hearing, it seems like you both are two women, and you both prefer men for a lot of things. Yeah, it depends on the situation, but yes. Yeah, but these are pretty basic, except for like the nanny and the babysitter. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I, I feel like we're going with traditional roles here. Like, so anything that re- requires physical strength, m- men. Anything that's more like analytical, logical, man. Anything that involves more emotion and understanding and, uh, empathy, w- yeah, and yeah. empathy and motherly, nurturing, caring, female. So we're kind of like... Probably Going because it. based off of yeah. what we grew up yeah, being yeah. surrounded by. Yeah. yeah. I feel like oh, it's important for us to um, be aware of our own biasness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We all, ha- everybody has bias. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. And if you were to say you don't, then you're not really in tune with yourself mm-hmm. because we all have it. And, you know, to have it doesn't mean that you're guilty of being bad. Yeah. But to be aware. Or that you're a feminist or that yeah. you're like anti-men. Or right. Because because the thing is like we're, we're all very, you know, strong, ambitious uh, women and we believe in women, women's rights and opportunity for women. Uh, but even for us, I think that sometimes, you know, we have these tendencies to think that a man might be better at these because of A, B and C or yeah. a woman, you know, so. 
Uh, so that's why I wanted to kind of go through these roles. Um, everybody is to kind of just put the attention on asking yourself, right? Yeah. You know, like, what do you prefer for certain things? Who do you pick? Why do you pick them? That brings me to the question, you know, growing up, do you think in society, do you think that it's harder to be a man or a woman if you have sons or a son, if you have a daughter or or daughters, you know, for your brothers, for your sisters, you know? Uh, do you think it's easier to be a man or a woman? I'm going to say a man. It's easier to be a man? Yeah. There's a, a financial um, responsibility and pressure, right? You have to take care of the household. You have to whatever, right? That's like sort of like that society, societal pressure. But I feel like, I don't know, and let me know what you guys think. But beyond that, there's... There's like less things that they worry about. Like that's kind of their their primary focus. While a wom woman, there's a lot on our plate. There's like motherhood. There's taking care of the household. And now we're adding education and career on top of that. I feel like there's just a lot. And then like female emotions on top of that where you're less logical. You're very emotional throughout the months as your hormones go up and down. Um, and then giving birth, like getting pregnant, yeah. giving birth. I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of things that, that a yeah. woman goes through in her life that we, is very difficult to handle. Yeah. And even what you mentioned, emotions, even emotions is a physical thing. It translates yeah. into hormones, which translates into chemistry and physical, yeah. your physical body will affect your emotions. Yeah. So it's not just all in your head. Yeah. You know, it's chemical. Yeah. 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 So it's like, it makes you feel less stable and i feel like man a man they have more control of those things so they're more stable mm -hmm. uh, even though there's a lot of financial pressure okay how about you yeah i would agree but that's because you know i grew up as a as a woman <laughs> so i know the pressure of mm -hmm. and how difficult it is to be uh, a woman too you know because it's I mean, you know, we lived it. I mean, I don't know what it's like to be a man and what they grow up with and what they, I mean, we only hear, right? Because we only think that their only, their only issues or the only thing they need to focus on is financial responsibility. But maybe it's beyond that that we don't know of. Kind of why they also don't understand why it's so hard for us to be women. Because to them, they probably think, oh, women, you just have to be pretty and you can get whatever you want or mm -hmm. you just have to be nice or you just have to be whatever and you can get whatever you want. To the opposite sex, they think we get it easy, but then we also think that they get it easy too. Yeah. But speaking on my own experience, of course I'm going to say I we have it harder, you know, mm -hmm. because I had to live through it, you know. Yeah, And I don't want to uh, minimize uh, men's emotions. Of course, you guys feel things too. It just seems like you guys are better at handling those things because you're more logical and and maybe you're better at suppressing emotions, which may or may not be good. But, but we're all it, humans, so we all have emotions. But I think but. it's also the pressure of you're a man. You shouldn't you shouldn't feel that way. Yeah, yeah you should be a man yeah. basically you know man up yeah yeah that's <laughs> why they have that don't cry that's why they have that phrase yeah. 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 yeah 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 i mean but you know i mean of course i'm going to say women have it harder because yeah. i'm a woman you know yeah i think it's easier to be a woman oh really why yeah i think it's harder it, i think it'd be harder to be a man why be because i feel like um as a man there's so much dang pressure from society to deliver and to hold everything together to be the provider, not just for your wife, not just for the, the for the kids, but you know, if your parents are going through a tough time, you gotta take care of them. You know, if your sub siblings are going through a tough time and whatever, you know, it's like you gotta always be the person who has the answer and resolves things. You know, it's it's difficult. The pressure of everything. I feel like it's very hard for a man dating for a man, and also a reason why I say this is because if you're a man and you're born not very good looking, and you're Four ten, <laughs> you well, know. You say why, the same thing about a woman. Well, hold on, hold on. Why can't you say four ten? Can you, can you say five <laughs> you can three say the at least? Same thing okay. about a woman. Five, that's three, that's not. Five, no, no, no. That's what? not an app with it. Oh no. Let's hold on, hold on. Five three. Uh huh. Fine, fine. Five three. If you're five three, uh -huh. and you know, like, let's say you just 
you're just at a disadvantage. You're a new immigrant and your fa your family really didn't have much and or maybe you're an orphan. I know I'm just like, <laughs> my, my situation is just like the worst Dagging case scenario. <laughs> I know it's like the worst case scenario, but I'm just saying any of those factors, I'm talking about all those factors in combination. But even if you just had two of those factors or three of those factors or one of those factors, it makes it difficult. You don't have the tools. Women have tools. Women can use makeup. Women can wear high heels. Women can be petite and still be accepted. A 4'11 woman can date a six foot one man and it's still accepted, you know? But men, if you're 5'3 and, you know, you, you just dating alone is already limited because a lot of women, I won't date somebody who's 5'3. I won't, you know what I mean? Because I'm 5'1 and I want to I wanna have kids with somebody who just has taller genes. Maybe if I was a woman who's like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and the person I happen to fall in love with is shorter than me, I'll be okay with it because I hold the genes. But at least one of us has to hold the genes, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm not discrediting how hard it is to be a woman. It's really dang hard. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult to be a strong, independent woman who can hold her own, but then some people think it's too much. You know, mm -hmm. it's like a lot of my friends are very smart, beautiful, successful women who find it very difficult to date because they're too successful. They're too intimidating. Mm -hmm. It's it's never enough. You know, so I'm not saying that it's not hard being a woman. But if we had to choose, I think that I don't know if I would be I would choose to be a man. It's difficult I and guess you're thinking in terms of like dating and mating that's not what I'm thinking I'm thinking in terms of overall difficulty in life um but the whole I guess yeah uh, yeah. yeah like like yeah but I guess but you but could apply I, that too I'm approaching it as who you know like the pressure and mm -hmm. maybe because I have anxiety and you know I don't, I'm not good with pressure and all that stuff maybe that's why I feel this way because, you know, if if you don't have money, okay, well, what do you think? I think it makes sense uh, what you're saying, but... You're thinking for the little guys, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're worried for the little guys. You're concerned for the little guys. I, I'm thinking I get about it. the guys who, like, just... They're not, they're not the studs. <laughs> and they're just, like... It's, it, life is hard. <laughs> I, I feel for you. It's it's not easy. Yeah, but you can say the same for for women who are larger, um, yeah. females who are not as right? attractive. They're going to... Yeah. They're probably going to give the same argument. Well, I'm a, a bigger woman and yeah. I have just as hard of time. I'm because kind of, you're, kind of, no, Your no, argument is for like a subset no, no, but, of the no, male. But, but look, you know, women have tools that they can use to their advantage. Men do not have tools. If a man uses a filter, I would look at him like, I'm not dating you. You take pictures with filters, you know. Some guys, some shorter guys will, will wear, wear shoes with a higher platform. And, you know, some of the women are like, Oh, he kind of does that. I still date him, but it's kind of weird, you know. I think I'm, my approach is if you're born at a disadvantage as a man and there's all these societal pressures on you, you have to make money. You have to take care of everybody. It's difficult. It's difficult for a short man to be a CEO and taken seriously in the corporate world to some extent. Mm -hmm. not, That's difficult not to for, say never. Never so say difficult ever. for a, a woman to take uh, to be a CEO I, too. Sure, I get it. Yeah. I, I I get it. I absolutely get it. You're yeah. right. You know, I I don't disagree with you because I'm a woman. I know how hard it is to be a woman. It's freaking hard. Yeah. You know, but all I'm saying is. If, if I were to talk to God and I was going to be born and he was like, hey, you want to be a man or a woman? I don't know if I would pick man. I just don't know. I, I don't know. I would definitely pick man. Just just not the man that you described. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to, you don't get you don't to, orphan. You don't get to pick. Five, you, three. You're gonna, no. Uh, you're no, gonna, you don't humor. You, you, don't, you don't get to pick. It's a bag. You, you pick. Okay. <laughs> okay. Elsie, you're rolling the dice. Yeah, yeah. God's going to give you the chance to be a man. You're going to come to earth be a man, but you don't know where the dice is going to roll. So then we should put height and all the stuff I'm in the bag. Be a and man. I'm going to be a man because me personally, if I were the man that you described, I'm going to just chill and take it easy. I'm going to go live on a beach, bartend during the day. I don't know, do dishes. <laughs> Do dishes, whatever, and chill, and just live a relaxed a happy life, life, a happy, simple life. I don't need to be competing with the Joneses, Joneses, and trying to do the most. 
climb the ladder. Okay. So, yeah. So, so what's stopping you from doing that now as a woman? Because uh, I have an ego and I was raised a certain way with a certain expectation. So, so what if you really hard to remove it? Yeah. So what if you're a man and you grew up with the same ego and you same family? Uh, yeah. Oh well, then I would definitely be a successful short little man. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you grow up with that kind of mentality, yeah. no matter what you, you have, yeah. Yeah. it's you, you're gonna make it. You yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of there's a lot of people with disadvantages that I really admire. Um, there's people with no basic things like arms and legs that are yeah. are heroes and and are are motivational speakers and very successful and live a happy life and our our moms and dads and have a family a normal family absolutely you know i respect that yeah i mean so many people yeah. like Damn, how did they get to where they are why am i here like i'm not I, you know like uh, they have to have more passion more motivation more i don't know what it is drive you know yeah so i think you have to have those things well, I guess when you're a short man, you have the drive to make money. I don't yeah. know. And if you have the drive, then go for it. And if you don't, then live the simple life and be happy. If That's I live a simple life as a man, I'd be happy. But I think as a woman, you still go through a, a lot of emotions, even if you yeah, live that yeah. simple life, you know? Yeah. So that's what I compare it to. You know? That is true. So I wanted to ask, you know, bring bring it back to, to dating. If you are a man and, you know, you don't, you're kind of struggling financially, mm -hmm. Does that mean you shouldn't really date women? Like you shouldn't date. I mean, I'm I'm talking about straight, straight, straight man and woman. Yeah. Right? Just in that situation, should you not date? Because maybe it's not about not dating. It's about dating within your financial level, lane, financial lane yeah. ability. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I agree. It's not about you shouldn't date. Yeah. Be alone forever. Okay. Yeah. No, that's not what it is. It's if you have some struggles then your expectations should be equal to your struggle, right? You shouldn't be financially struggling and then wanting a baddie, right? Because you know what comes with a baddie? Um, that Chanel bag, the, her nails done, her hair done, her lashes done. All of that comes with the baddie that you want. So if you want that baddie, you better be making that money for that baddie. So it's not fair for you to want the baddie, but then complain that the baddie is also a gold digger, gold digger, right? Yeah. So if you are a 50-50 man and you like to split your sh shit 50-50, date a 50-50 woman. Mm -hmm. Your 50-50 woman may not look like a woman that wants you to pay for all her shit. Mm -hmm. And you have to be okay with that. Yeah. And if you're not okay with that, then don't be asking for 50-50. So that, be dating a that's baddie. a good point. Because you can't generalize and be like, oh, all women want men to pay. Because no, not all women are, are, are going to be like, I want you to pay all the time. But the ones that do say, I want you to pay all the time, are going to set those expectations. And if you can't meet them, don't complain about it. Yep. Date someone else. Yep. Date the ones that are okay with 50-50. Now, if you want the one that looks like the one that wants 100, you better be able to give the 100. Yep. Preach. I, th <laughs> I think at the end of the day, why would they choose you? Right. Give them a reason. Right. Yeah. Whether it's your personality or your sense of humor or the fin the financial security you offer yeah. um, or life stability, whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you know what? Just you just touched upon it. As women, we want to know that the man is going to be able to provide stability and stability comes in a lot of different forms, but mainly financial in the modern day, like back in the days. Okay. We have a little plot of land. We can farm and, you know, grow our own food and eat and be happy. Right. But that These plot days, of land was equal to money. The yeah. Bigger, yes. The bigger your plot of land, uh, the, mm -hmm. the, be the more, better of a catch yeah. you were, but that equates to money yeah, yeah but and and stability and like that home that feeling of security you know so that we can build a family so that's what women are looking for yeah and if you can't pay or can't show that you can provide stability then women are not going to go for it so why do you think some men are so bitter about women who want that so i think that like for the women who want um life stability and financial stability uh and to the men who think that they're just gold diggers or they're unreasonable, um, I would say that I think at the end of the day, our innate nature is that we just want stability in the sense that if we have kids with someone, they're going to get to eat. If they go to a school, they're going to get to go to a decently good school, you know, that you're not going to have to struggle, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that that's what 
that's that peace of mind. Yeah. I have thought a lot about this, and I'm always uh, I, I would wonder like why why do we want men to be financially stable? And it's because I mean this is my own conclusion could be totally wrong, but we're looking for a provider because. In my mind, evolutionarily, if we were to get pregnant, we're basically out of commission for nine months, you know, where it's very hard to like to provide like back in cave caveman days. Right. It's hard to like provide for yourself. So you need a man who's going to be able to go out there and hunt and feed for you when you're out of commission for nine months. And even after that, you have a newborn baby that you're caring for. And this person has to be able to provide for that. One more mouth to feed. Yeah. Yeah. And so like, I think that is evolutionarily like ingrained in us. So I feel like that's why it's so important for women to find a man who is financially stable because we're looking for a provider who is going to support us when we need it, when we're least yeah. able to take care of ourselves as someone who's going to provide for us and our offsprings because it's about protecting ourselves and our children, yeah, you know? Yeah. And, I, and, and in modern day, they call it a gold digger, but really we're just looking for someone who is going to be able to provide well, safety for I think us. I think that's very well said, and I think that people use certain terms because people – women don't know how to vocalize what it is that they're looking for and the why behind it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when you break it down, it is that. It's yeah. survival mechanisms. Yeah. However, it's not to say there aren't those females that will take advantage of men, but also there are men who will take advantage of beautiful females mm -hmm. and drop them like, like a penny, like at the, to, to, to take on the next trophy wife, you know? Mm -hmm. So it works both ways, I think. I think it's pretty equal in in that sense because there's always going to be some females who are solely dating you for your money and there's always going to be some guys who are solely dating you for your looks and mm -hmm. when you age out of those looks they'll find you're out of commission yeah yeah yep. so i mean there's always going to be those subset of people all the time yeah yep, that's and true. you can't use those people to generalize for the population yeah okay yep. okay so for a woman do you think that they invest money into their looks and into their wardrobe and their nails and all the stuff that makes them look put together. Do you think that that's an investment? Do you think that that's something that men should also recognize if they're going to complain about paying for someone's dinner? <laughs> from from my experience, a certain kind of guy uh, at a certain level, it, it, you know, in economics standing societal standing whatever appreciates that because that's that's how it is in their world you know maybe for everyday person they won't care that much about that and they're gonna be like why are you putting makeup on why are you getting dressed up and this and that you know you don't need to right but so i think it de depends on the circle okay and, w and where you stand in society so the standards may be different mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay it does take money for us to uh, invest in our looks and to look a certain way. There's a lot of pressure and we not it's just, competitive. It's not just men, but it's women against women. You yeah. know, like we compare ourselves to other women in regards to how, you know, how put together we should be mm -hmm. and how much <laughs> makeup we should put on and what we should do with our hair and whatever. It's a comparison against each other. Uh, but I think it's also... Um, like men don't realize what we put into our looks because a lot of guys are like, oh, no, I want a natural looking uh, girl. Right. But they don't know what a natural looking girl really is, because I guarantee you, you show them a photo of a girl without makeup and with a no makeup makeup look. They're going to pick. Oh, yeah, that girl, the natural looking one, the no makeup makeup. But she's wearing makeup. Mm -hmm. She's not not wearing makeup. Yeah. She's wearing natural makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still because she looks more put together. Yeah, They're but that's still an investment in her looks. Mm -hmm. Like you yeah. can say, "I want a natural girl," all you want, but then you're over here liking all these girls with all these baddies, big boobs and all hair all done, lashes, you know, that all out. Mm -hmm. Like if you really want a natural girl, then then show it. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I think a lot of men don't know how much work it takes and how much money it takes just to maintain maintenance yeah it's real the costs yeah. are real the investment yep. is real yep. um so i wanted to ask what about the corporate world do you think that women to be successful you do have to put yourself together 
dress nice, invest in good shoes, invest in good wardrobe, put do your hair, look intact, you know, like do yeah. your makeup. How how much? I think you have to be put together. I don't think you need to wear designer shoes yeah, yeah, or like yeah, yeah, yeah. designer clothes yeah. or anything like but that. But you still have to you have you still have to put yourself together, look pretty yeah. enough, yep. you know, to be to to make it yep. far, right? Like I can't just wake up, roll out of bed, tie my hair without brushing it, and just I, I have done that. <laughs> <laughs> so we we all have, <laughs> but but if you're gonna go into meeting rooms with like uh, executives yeah, yeah. and you're trying to climb up the ladder and get promoted, right? There's a standard, yep. right? Because you all are both professionals. Yep. What, yeah, yeah. What do you? Yeah. But I think the standard is across the board. I I don't think a guy is gonna get away with coming into guys, an executive meeting it, l- rolled out of bed. But guys don't have to do makeup. It and, takes yeah, longer yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, is my yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, well, yeah. that yes, yeah. of course. And you know, a hundred percent, I I agree. And like women, we definitely have to put more effort in our daily lives. Just just to compete with other girls to get a guy and also in your career, um, unfortunately. And that even goes to saying women, we don't get paid as much as men, but because we have to invest in all these things, we're even, we're getting paid even lower when you consider that we spend our money on reinvesting in ourselves. Yeah, that's true. I was complaining about a nurse that gave me a shot and, (laughs) (laughs) and I, uh, I, I didn't like her. She Her hair is messy and crazy. <laughs> her hair, she looks like she didn't she did not even brush her hair when she woke up and came to work. It's bad. And to me, it made me not trust her, you know. Um, and she prepared my needles, not in front of me. So her hair made me more paranoid <laughs> about the needles that she prepared not in front of me. So I think that there is a certain look. Yeah. There is a certain look that is more trustworthy yeah i feel well, doesn't mean that somebody is put together is really on top of things either, or honest you know yeah it doesn't or mean honest, they're more honest but, or yeah. better person. but yes if you are more more put together uh there's more of a trust there uh respect there of mm-hmm. people um seeing you as a professional as responsible as knowing what you're doing and what you're saying yeah even at the workplace you know how they say if you want the when you go to work, dress for the job that you want, not for the job that you have. Mm-hmm. You know, so you already look the part. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've heard that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And in other countries like Korea, South Korea, for example, you know, I've heard that you have to put a they have to put pictures on their resumes. Yeah, yeah, yeah but some U- European countries too. Yeah, but oh. South Korea and their beauty standards is like off the chart. Like they have wild expectations yeah. when it comes to beauty standards there, though. So they're not a really good example, but <laughs> so it's like more difficult. Yeah, yeah, over there. Yeah. After all we've talked about, let's go around the, in the circle and see if you would still choose the same sex. <laughs> so if you were to be born again and choose what you know gender you're going to be, and you just had to choose man or woman, and that was all you could choose, which one would you choose? Would you still choose what you said earlier? Yep, I would still choose male. I think I would still choose to be born a female. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, there is a lot of struggles, but I still enjoy being a female. So to recap, Ma would choose to be a woman. I would choose to be a woman. And Elsie would choose to be a man. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in another parallel universe, <laughs> I would love to meet you as a man. Because I wonder what kind of man you would be. I think I would be exactly the same as I am now. But just male form. <laughs> okay. And less emotional, less like overthinking and less like overanalyzing, less thinking, okay, this is what's expected of me. We're talking about traditional men and women, but I will acknowledge people who are born and they feel like they're not born in their correct bodies. I will acknowledge people who don't identify with any gender or um, or they are they... You know, so I I respect all that. And that's for us to decide upon what makes us happy, how do we identify as, and why. Um, but again, this conversation was based on the traditional, just black and white for the sake of this conversation. But mm-hmm. yeah, I do uh, want to wrap it there. And, you know, please share with us in your comments and um, email us. 
uh, visit us at realandrelatablepodcast.com and submit any questions or any feedback that you have because we want to hear what your thoughts are and share this video with any relatives, friends, or family. So yeah, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as we did. We will see you next time. Bye, Bye. Jay.